Who is the greater threat to America, ISIS or Iran? What's Lindsey Graham's opinion? Not even close. Iran with the nuclear capability is the greatest threat the world will, will, will know in my lifetime. Well, then, what is the Republican Congress doing to throw everything it can in the way of this president's headlong rush to appeasement with Iran? We've got a two-front strategy here. We're trying to get Kirk Mendendez up for a vote that would tell the Iranians, if you walk away from the negotiations, we're going to reimpose sanctions. If you cheat, we'll reimpose sanctions. That's one approach. The Corker-Graham approach, I think, quite frankly, is even a better approach. It says there will be no binding deal with the Iranian nuclear program regarding lifting uh, congressional sanctions unless Congress votes to approve the deal. That's what we're doing. We're going to have a vote this year, sooner rather than later, I hope, about Kirk Menendez, but Corker Graham, I think, is the best check and balance against a bad deal. Two more questions. In Iran and in Argentina, a prosecutor was assassinated who was going to serve an arrest warrant on Argentinian, Argentine's president for blocking an investigation into Iranian complicity in the attack there in 1994. Right. Do you think, do you see the hand of Iran there? Uh, Iran is, again, influencing four major capitals. They're spreading the their influence all over the world, including South America. Why would you negotiate with a regime that is building an ICBM, that is sponsoring terrorism at the highest level in modern times? Uh, Why not just call a timeout and say, we're not going to talk to you anymore about your nuclear program until you stop your weapons buildup and destabilizing the neighbors? Does anybody really believe that Barack Obama would use military force against Iran after he drew a red line against Assad and did nothing. The Israelis are in a box. The Israelis are not going to allow the Ayatollahs to go nuclear. And the deal that we're contemplating with Iran is North Korea in the making. And the Arabs and the Israelis are not going to allow the Ayatollahs in Iran to have a nuclear capability only contained by the UN. That's what we tried to do in North Korea. So Obama is about to unleash hell on the Mideast. He's about to create a nuclear arms race by wanting a deal with the Iranians so badly that he's about to make the mistake of a lifetime.